Of course, Mental Health Awareness Month, and tonight we're focusing on how the impacts of climate change are indeed affecting the emotional well-being of millions around the world, especially our children. Psychiatrists call it climate anxiety. It's a very real issue, and many of our young people, especially here in South Florida, are dealing with this every day. But some have found a way to channel this angst into a positive. It's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. For the past few years, Florida has been dealing with mounting environmental and climate problems. The floods, the sargassum, the fish kills, the coral die-off, the droughts, the extreme heat are all a dire reminder that the climate crisis is here. On Earth Day, a small army of South Florida students showed up at Mass Academy on Virginia Key to walk the talk and demand action on the climate crisis. Having these events like this makes people realize that this is a big issue. We want clean energy to be the future because that's the only way that we can truly counteract how many fossil fuels are being emitted into the atmosphere. The Planet Pep Rally and 5K Run, the backdrop to a serious and pressing issue affecting many of our youth who literally feel like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders. It's despair. We're seeing students really coming up with a lot of anxiety uh, with regards to their future. There's actually a psychological term for it, climate anxiety, a clinical diagnosis that therapists have been monitoring for over 20 years. There are so many people that are getting particularly worried about climate and uh, climate change that we've, we've pretty much coined a term specifically for that kind of, of anxiety. In fact, Yale University just published a recent study that said that 64% of Americans were somewhat worried about the climate crisis. 10% felt nervous, anxious, or on edge several days a week, and 9% said they can't stop thinking about it. It's mainly like a fear of the future for me. Vice President Kamala Harris even spoke of it during her recent visit to Miami when she pledged $562 million for climate resiliency. Climate anxiety, the emotional, the, the, the psychological, the mental toll that the knowledge about this crisis is taking on our young people. So who here experiences climate anxiety? Just by show of hands. Pretty much everybody. The constant barrage of headlines underscoring the need for urgent action to defuse the climate time bomb, only adding more fuel to the fire. According to the latest United Nations IPCC report released in March, this is a final warning. Stop using fossil fuels by 2040 or it will be too late. What is that like in your life? Do you not sleep at night? Do you, do you talk to your parents? Do you talk to I your peers? I, I think about it all the time. Like I. I stand in the shower and I think about it. Mental health is like an issue that a lot of people kind of dismiss, and especially with climate change. Jillian Ortega recently joined a delegation of over 60 young climate activists who went to D.C. We're right now at the Capitol. Where they lobbied lawmakers to act on climate, specifically asking for legislation to address the need for more climate education and the growing anxiety among young people. It's our future, our future students, our future kids, like it's our future, so they should be hearing about what we have to say. Gabriela Barreto was also there. The climate movement is definitely growing and it's getting bigger, it's getting more support. In fact, the science says advocacy is the best way for young people to cope with climate anxiety. Get involved, take action, move their feet. It doesn't need to be so doom and gloom if we feel like we have at least a part um, that we're that we're helping a little bit to make a difference. I think that that's that's very healing. That's why the Clio Institute also recently took another youth delegation to Tallahassee to speak to state lawmakers and urge them to move the needle. And so I think giving them those opportunities again, because action is the antidote to despair, become really involved and empowered. Our youth literally fighting for their future. What gives you hope? Um, us. I give, we, I give myself hope and everyone around me. We wake the adults up by showing this is a non-negotiable issue and we respectfully invite them to the conversation. We respectfully go up to them, but we're firm in the fact that this is happening and that this needs to be acted on and we need your help. So again, there are resources out there. If you or your child or someone you know is struggling with climate anxiety, the best thing to do is to take some kind of action. Find community by joining a climate club at school, maybe starting one if your school doesn't have one, taking part in a beach cleanup or a climate march. The one thing you can't do 
is lose hope. The Clio Institute is a great resource to help you find community and information. We have that link for you. Just scan that QR code on your screen. It will take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on Local10.com. And boy, those kids really inspired me. They are so fired up. And they, they are. They are relentless. And so they smart. They mean business. So smart. Inspiring. Well, they're fighting for their future. They yeah. really are. Yeah.